Declaration of Independence was signed, it was read from that balcony. Every 4th of July, the Declaration of Independence is read from that balcony. And, we, and we, then there's a little parade, and they go up and put wreaths on the grave of Paul Revere and the Raiders, Dick Clark, all those old, old papers. Did you know Dick Clark died? The wa original water line. So the water came up here in the 1600s. This is the oldest commercial block in the city of Boston. It includes the oldest restaurant, the oldest tavern. This is the Holocaust Memorial. I'm going to go through this again. This is Hanover Street, where the restaurants are. That is where the clowns perform, and next to it is the Twin Center. We got the, uh, how many, we got a lot of Red Sox fans here? We got any Yankee fans here? Oh, okay. Good. You know the Red Sox are playing the Yankees? Do you know that? Okay, we got the score right over here. Do you, got, do you have a camera? Get the camera right here. Let's see, if you don't mind stopping, I want to get, I just want to get the score. Is that all right? Okay, let's just see what it says here. Okay, okay. Boston 10, New York Yankees 3. Yes! Yes! Did you see that? Or... You did... oh, we have to go around again, Cap. We'll, go, we'll, we'll do a quick... We'll, do a, we'll, bang, we'll bang a Yui. Did anyone see the movie The Departed? One for us. Now, that's, this is where it was filmed, right here. Those stairs in the movie were the state police headquarters. That rings a bell. That was, that was the exterior scenes. Okay, we're coming on Causeway Street. This is my favorite street on the tour. Got any hockey fans here? What? What's your team? Bruins, there you go. Have you seen all this before? No, all right. This is our statue of Bobby Orr. Okay, right here to the left of TD with uh, getting the goal in Stanley Cup in 1970. This is the garden. That's where the Celtics played last night. That's the old guy. That's the new guy. The old guy was where the parking lot is in front. And if you get the camera, get ready. Oh, there we go. On the captain seat, there's another bike rack right over here. The old guy was built for boxing. So every seat in the old guy you could see the boxing ring. That was in the 1920s, because that was the big sport. But then they put in the hockey and the basketball area. It was just awful, because all the seats became obstructing the old And the old garden was where the parking lot is. So they tore down the old in the 1990s and built up the new, literally, at the, uh, at the same time. But this is the big dig right here. If you were here, between 1950 and 1990s, all the cars would stay above ground. So that's where we dug the hole, and they go underground for eight miles. And uh, originally it cost uh, two, we projected it cost two billion dollars. It's about 15 billion. It's the only highway, you can go in those tunnels. It's the only highway for that extra money. You can drive and get your car washed while you're driving. So very nice because the roof is leaking. All right. This red line is the Freedom Trail. This is two and a half miles. You can just walk this and take you everything you want to see in Charlestown and back to Boston. We're going to go in the water right over here. And over here, because we're up high, this is the Gridley Locks. On the other side is the Charles River, which is uh, fresh water. This is salt water. And if it wasn't for that building, the Charles River would go in and out with the tide, which it did for years. See, and that building allows the Charles River to maintain a constant depth. You guys are having a good time? Yeah, we can walk to the place. And I'm looking, today is April 19th, so that's a very special day. You know what April 19th is? The video. Nobody knows. Concord, actually, early morning on the 19th. We celebrated that this past Monday. That's why we had Patriots Day with the marathon. 
there was a reenactment out at Lexington and Concord about 5.30 in the morning. Reenactment. The first, ba uh, first shots were fired. It really wasn't a battle. Then the British walked back to Boston. We're going to go into this small bridge. See that small bridge out there? So because of that small bridge, very few boats can use that launch because they can't get under the bridge. And actually a lot of them have to wait for low tide when the water will go down another five feet. All right. That wasn't too bad, huh? All right, now I'm going to turn the mic. This boat, he can really maneuver that, huh? I'm going to Sixty percent of Boston is filled in. Sixty percent. When we get up, when we get out into the harbor, just try to imagine this being two to three times larger. Two to three times larger. Out here, guys, you're going to get another great photo opportunity here in just a minute. Coming into view off our bow, the steeple of the Old North Church. Guys, right off my bow now, that is where the Sexton, or Robert Newman, not Paul. You know, all these movies, The Departed, Gone Baby, Gone, The Town, makes it sound like the only way to make a living here in Boston is sticking up people. There's plenty of jobs available, guys. Plenty of jobs available. Using my bow is 12. If you look down about 2 o'clock, you'll see a rusty bridge down there. That is East Boston. That is called the Chelsea Creek. That actually goes in behind. Uh, Logan International Airport. They get all their jet fuel delivered right down there. Got one of our ferries straight down in front of us. There's a lot happening on the water today. She belongs to Boston Harbor Cruises. Now, we got a few kids on board, right? Have you kids been to Quincy's Market? You might want to go back. You might want to go back. I don't know if you saw it or not. It's going to be like, what, 50 different kinds of food you get in there. It's amazing. But they've got one kiosk. All they sell is macaroni and cheese. Did you find it? Oh, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome, guys. You get born. The mothers slowly start pushing them to this side of the building. Now, when those babies are ready, only those mothers know, she literally pushes them off the edge. Now, a lot of those babies will, will take off flying. But there's a lot of them that'll drop onto the pier or into the into the water. Now, if a baby falls in, the mother immediately starts dive bombing it, and it looks like she's trying to hurt her baby, but she's not. She's trying to scare it. She scares it. She frightens it into flying. It's quite amazing to watch. She'll teach those little things how to fly. Then she'll teach them at low tide how to get the uh, periwinkles and clams and crabs, mussels. We got duck. Now how about a big round of applause for Captain John, wow. 